Introduction to Proxima B's surface and image that comes from the James Webb Telescope essentially made the clearest picture of Proxima B in history. Stumbling upon amazing knowledge about an exoplanet that might be habitable obliges us as we set out on an excursion through space. To find out what's behind Proxima B, to determine whether it might be the next, Earth from which we launch into the vast expanse of space, there is a mysterious planet in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet is not just any normal rock. The actual Proxima B is found a mere 4.2 light years from us. There are many mysteries on this planet, and one wonders whether it might be a different Earth, with seas and life blossoming on its surface. However, there's more Proxima Centauri B isn't alone in that system. It orbits the Red Dwarf, star it shares with Proxima Centauri C, and who knows what other mysteries the star system holds? We might have a second companion. We haven't figured out the secret yet. It doesn't stop there. Proxima Centauri produces approximately the same quantity of energy for Proxima B as the sun does for Earth. Could this truly mean that there's water on its surface and perhaps even life? As we venture outside of our solar system, we encounter an entirely new universe of planets, exoplanets, planets, that orbit stars other than the sun. With over 200 billion stars in the universe, the opportunities for exoplanets are endless. Some exoplanets even defy boundaries untethered to any star, like wandering space travelers. Why is this image so groundbreaking? Among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as an especially striking and captivating planet. It has a year that is only 112, Earth days long, and a distance from its star that is generally closer than Earth is to the Sun? Indeed. One side of the planet is frequently washed in sunlight, while the opposing side remains in perpetual darkness. Now, let's examine the star Proxima Centauri, which Proxima b revolves around. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Rigel Centaurus, also known as Alpha Centauri A, and Alpha Centauri B together. These stars form the closest star system to our own. Rigel Centaurus and Alpha Centauri B form a binary system known as Alpha Centauri A and B. These G and K type stars are in the Centaurus constellation and are among the third, brightest stars in our night sky. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf and M-type star found approximately 21 light years correction, should be 0.21 light years from the other two stars, about four times the distance between them. It is the star closest to the Sun and Earth. Proxima actually refers to the closest in Latin. It was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Innes. Despite being our closest celestial neighbor, it is not visible to the naked eye, having a magnitude of 11.13, much fainter than the human eye limit of 6.5. But don't let that fool you. Proxima Centauri is still an interesting star to study. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient stars in terms of energy production. Though they may not produce a lot of energy, the internal processes of convection at their cores enabled them to shine for trillions of years. Generally speaking, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another 4 trillion years. However, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri is still a matter of debate. One argument is that it is a flare star, that is, it has intense and frequent explosions. As a low-mass star, its habitable zone would be much closer than the Sun's. It's projected to be somewhere between 0.23 and 0.54 astronomical units. But even being in the right, zone doesn't make it habitable. Proxima b appears to be subject to intense bombardment of ultraviolet radiation from its star, frequently more powerful than what we receive from our sun. It's so extreme that even the smallest molecules of hydrogen are removed, along with oxygen and nitrogen. But that isn't all. Merely being in the correct distance from a star doesn't mean a planet can support life. Proxima b may not have a stable atmosphere, which is essential for controlling temperature and maintaining a surface that's friendly to water. Without such conditions, living creatures would be vulnerable to harsh space weather, making life nearly impossible. So while Proxima b might appear Earth-like on the surface, it is far from being able to support life. 
scientists remain cautious as many factors still make it inhospitable. The mission to reveal Proxima b remains a mystery. One tool that has garnered the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. After years of anticipation, the telescope finally went live at the end of 2018. It may help us determine whether life exists on Proxima b, however. As with everything, in science, things are never as clear as they seem. Several changes had to be made to ensure the telescope delivers accurate images. As Abby Tabor, a Harvard theoretical physicist, explains, if a planet like Proxima b, besides being able to absorb light from its star, can re-emit it as infrared light, then the James Webb Telescope, specifically designed to capture infrared, can detect it. It can then scan the surface for patterns that could indicate the presence of water or an atmosphere. But what if the planet's atmosphere isn't conducive to life? The mere presence of an environment doesn't guarantee the presence of life, cautions Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a dense atmosphere, far thicker than Earth's, and surface temperatures that make life impossible. To unravel the mysteries of Proxima b is not. Without its challenges, while the James Webb Telescope offers hope, there are many other factors to consider. With rising costs and mounting excitement among space scientists, the need to observe planets like Proxima b is critical. The potential rewards are even greater. The opportunity to explore the unknown, to uncover the secrets of a distant planet that may have life-sustaining potential, is a pursuit worth chasing. What are the implications for future space missions? If the exoplanet proves habitable, might we one day visit it? It's the closest exoplanet to us. Practically our cosmic backyard. The fact that it is nearly identical in size to Earth and located in the habitable zone makes it incredibly exciting. Additionally, Proxima b's proximity makes it an optimal target in our search for life beyond Earth. With it being so close, it's a prime candidate for interstellar missions. Think about exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. Although we can't yet go there, it's certainly on the radar for future missions. As technology advances, it remains one of the most exciting. Prospects in the realm of space exploration, however, it's no easy task. A spacecraft like Voyager 2 would take 75,000 years to reach the Proxima Centauri system. Nonetheless, solution has been proposed. Solar sails. The use of extremely thin sails could propel a spacecraft toward the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima along with it. This technology uses solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the problem of running out of fuel. And here's something even more fascinating. This cutting edge, this technology could offer insights into the possibility of life. On other planets like Proxima b. However, like any ambitious endeavor, there are limitations. For instance, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily make certain that life on Proxima b is present. It could be like Venus, with a thick, hot atmosphere that's inhospitable. Furthermore, get this, the James Webb Telescope can detect such emissions if it only achieves a brightness of 5% of the daytime side. Now 5% may not seem like much, but when dealing with a star that is typically less bright than our own sun, it's quite significant. If Proxima b has advanced cultures, they could use bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the daytime side to the nighttime side. How cool is that? The discovery of Proxima b has captivated scientists in space, enthusiasts alike due to its proximity to Earth and its potential for habitability. As one of the closest exoplanets to our solar system, it has become a focal point for astrobiological studies. Its position within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone grants it the capability of hosting liquid water, a key ingredient for life. Nevertheless, this potential is constrained by the extreme radiation emitted by its star. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star, is recognized for its flare activity, which could deplete the atmosphere of the planet and render the surface impassable. Despite these challenges, scientists are optimistic. Proxima b's discovery was an important advancement in the search for Earth-like planets. Advanced telescopes, like the James Webb Space Telescope, continue to provide crucial data, as well as studying its atmosphere. 
Future missions aim to explore the planet's surface, its geological features, and the possibility of life. Proxima. B's close proximity to Earth, combined with its similarities to our own planet, makes it a strong contender for interstellar exploration in the future. With each new discovery, our understanding of exoplanets expands, and the dream of finding life beyond Earth comes closer to reality. In conclusion, there are countless planets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, some of which are enormous gas giants, while others resemble our own Earth. But what do we know about them? One type of exoplanet that has piqued the interest of space scientists is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Jupiter and Saturn, but are much larger. Some of these monstrosities, named Super Jupiters, surpass even the largest planet in our solar system. Yet, not only that, but there are also some hot gas giants, like Jupiter, which are extremely close to their host star, existing in a sweltering environment with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine seeing such a planet up close, with its furious storms and gas. In addition to extreme heat giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which are similar in size to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are the hot Neptunes and small Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars. As opposed to their gas giant relatives, these planets are often shrouded in mystery. Despite their difficult atmospheres, which are hard to study from a distance, and let's not forget the Earth-like exoplanets, which resemble our own Earth. These planets come in various sizes, ranging from two times smaller than our planet's size. There are even super-Earths, which have masses more than twice that of ours. Despite being lighter than Neptune, one of the most captivating exoplanets, Proxima Centauri b, was discovered recently. This planet, which revolves around the star of the same name, is classified as a super-Earth with an estimated mass of seven Earth masses. Despite the fact that it is close to its host star, it is still too far away to be considered in the zone of habitability. Proxima Centauri b isn't alone. It has a companion, Proxima Centauri c, which is much further away from the star, has an orbital period of around five Earth years. It was discovered in 2020 using pre-recovery Hubble data. What's even more interesting about Proxima Centauri is that it appears to be an incredibly bright world possibly due to the presence of a ring system. There's more to uncover in the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers detected a shift in the star's orbital speed, which could be the result of another planetary companion. If confirmed, this planet will be known as Proxima Centauri d, and will be roughly the same size as Mars or Mercury. A life where the night sky is brimming with stars and countless other planets each with its own unique characteristics and orbits. The universe is full of surprises, and exoplanets are just one of them. With new discoveries being made constantly, it's an exciting time to be a space scientist. While we presently lack an accurate count of exoplanets, we do know they exist, just as we know the stars that light up the universe. However, exoplanets are not without their difficulties. They are frequently hidden by the glare of their host stars, making them difficult to study. Still, with advancements in technology, direct exoplanet imaging is now possible. For an exoplanet to be directly imaged, it must be large enough to be seen by the telescope, sufficiently far from its host star to avoid being obscured, and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of exoplanets that can be directly imaged, but they provide a fascinating glimpse into the attributes and composition of these distant worlds. Exoplanets are most frequently discovered through the modifications they instigate in their host star's gravitational pull. An exoplanet's gravitational pull can make its host star sway, and this radial velocity can be detected by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope utilized the transit technique, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes in front of it. This method has provided valuable information about exoplanets, including their size, distance, temperature. Here are a few amusing facts. Did you know that more than 22% of stars like the Sun have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones? Or that the TRAPPIST-1 system hosts seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces? Exoplanets like those in our solar system can also have natural satellites known as exomoons. With more than 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we know 
they exist in abundance. Hot Jupiters, with their mass and rapid rotation, are the easiest to find. But countless other exoplanets have yet to be discovered. The James Webb Space Telescope of NASA is revealing the universe's secrets, one discovery at a time. This remarkable telescope has been gathering data and capturing stunning images of the universe, revealing previously unknown wonders. Recently, it made a groundbreaking discovery that will alter our perception of the universe forever. NASA announced that the James Webb Space Telescope discovered the first conclusive proof of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system. This discovery provides crucial insights into the planet's composition and formation, offering us a glimpse into the mysteries of this gas giant planet. The planet orbits a sun-like star 700 light-years away, and this discovery signifies an important advancement in the search for extraterrestrial life. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson stated that this finding would supply us with a new perspective on the universe that we've never seen before. Sparking enthusiasm from astronomers and scientists all over the world, but that isn't all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy taking stunning photographs and gathering data about the universe in the infrared. The light from the young emitting object known as 110 Iros 4 illuminates the cool, spherical cloud material and the orange. Spots behind the cloud reveal light from distant stars obscured by the ice in the cloud. This remarkable research was part of Webb's Ice Age project, which aims to study the genesis of ice from its formation to the development of icy comets. And that's the James Webb Space Telescope in its entirety, envisioned in the workings of a dusty disk surrounding a nearby red dwarf star, capturing it for the first time at these light frequencies in the infrared.